Let's talk about SAT math. Now, if you are really prepared for the SAT, this should be a very easy question. So let's take a look at it. You are in the corner of a 50-foot square room. What is the distance to the center of the room? Okay, so that is the problem. You see that this is a multiple choice question. I'm gonna show you exactly how to answer this question. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can solve this problem. But if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section because I'm going to walk through step by step how to solve this question. All right, so here is our problem, and this is a multiple choice problem. So we want to identify the correct answer, but uh, let's go ahead and read the actual problem. So you are in the corner of a 50 foot square room. What is the distance to the center? Okay, so that is the problem, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 25 feet, B is 28.1 feet, C is 32.4 feet, and D is 35.4 feet. Okay, so to solve this problem, you're gonna need to understand how to work with right triangles. And of course, when you think about right triangles, you think about the Pythagorean theorem, and also when you think about right triangles, you wanna think about special right triangles. So all of this is gonna come into play as we solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. So when you're dealing with a word problem, you need to really make sure you understand the question. And the question is what? What is the distance to the center? But where are you at? Well, you're in the corner. And of course we have a 50 foot square room. So what you wanna do in almost all word problems is to try to model or sketch what's going on. So we can come up with a nice sketch here to represent uh, the problem, and let's take a look at that. All right, so here is a 50 foot square room, and we are in the corner, and we wanna know the distance to the center. So we're talking about this distance right here. Now, of course, when you have a square, all sides are equal, and the corners are right angles. Okay, so we have 90 degrees in all of these corners and uh, the sides are equal. And if you can kind of see here, the center of the room is going to be along the diagonal of this square. So that is a big clue because if we uh, kind of see right here, we're dealing with the what? Well, we're dealing with a triangle, but not, with, uh, but not just uh, any triangle, we're dealing with a right triangle. So that is a big clue on how to solve this problem. Now, right triangles are a huge topic in mathematics, and hopefully you know a lot about right triangles, but in this particular problem, as I indicated, what you really need to understand is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so what is the Pythagorean theorem? Well, it is a theorem, which is basically a rule that uh, associates the sides of a right triangle. Okay, so here is our right triangle, and we need uh, the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the various lengths of the sides here. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the Pythagorean theorem real quick, and here it is. Okay, so we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, a and b are the sides of a right triangle. Now, because we're dealing with the square, a and b would be the exact same length. But the important thing to remember when you're dealing with the Pythagorean theorem is that C is always the longest side of the right triangle. We call that the hypotenuse. So A squared plus B squared is gonna be equal to C squared. In other words, the sum of the squares of the shorter sides is gonna be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So let's take a look at a quick example here. So let's suppose A is two and B is two. So these are the sides of our square and we wanna know the length of the hypotenuse, which is C. Well, we're simply gonna plug our numbers into the Pythagorean theorem, and this is gonna be straightforward. And of course, we need to know some basic algebra as well. So a squared is gonna be two squared plus b squared, that, that's also two squared, is gonna be equal to c squared. So two squared is four plus two squared is four is equal to c squared. So c squared is equal to four plus four or eight. Okay, so c is gonna be equal to the square root, the positive negative, of the square root of eight. Now, of course, because we're dealing with distance, we can just kind of uh, get rid of that negative uh, value, that negative root. So if we went into our calculator and took the square root of eight, that would be the approximate distance of the hypotenuse. 
Okay, so that's just a quick review of the Pythagorean Theorem. And if you understand this, well, you should be able to solve this problem. If you're going to be taking the SAT, you don't want to take a chance on a low score because of weak math skills. So instead of guessing on math questions, why not answer them confidently? So make sure to check out my full SAT math test prep course. It's very comprehensive with easy to follow step-by-step -step lessons just like this and much, much more. So if you want to check it out, just follow the link in the description. Okay, so as long as you understand the Pythagorean Theorem, this is what we need to know to answer the question. So here again is our problem. We have our 50 foot by 50 foot square room. We're in the corner and we want this distance from the corner to the center. But the center happens to be halfway along the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So how can we find this distance right here? Well, if we can find this entire length C, which of course we can using, uh, using the Pythagorean Theorem, we can get this entire length of the hypotenuse and divide it by two, we'll have the distance from the corner to the center. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. And again, this is uh, going to be a simple application of the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, so here is our values. We have 50 and 50 as the sides. And remember, the first thing that we're gonna do here is solve for C. So we're gonna plug in our sides here for A and B. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So that's gonna be 50 squared plus 50 squared is gonna be equal to C squared. Now, if you have a calculator, you always wanna kinda of use your calculator to make this uh, number crunching easier. But 50 squared is 2,500 plus 50 squared, again, 2,500. So 2,500 plus 2,500 is 5,000. So now we have 5,000 is equal to C squared. Now to solve for C, all we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So C is going to be equal to the square root of 5,000. And when we go into our calculator, that's going to be approximately equal to 70.71. But remember, this is the entire length of the hypotenuse. And we don't want the entire length. We want that uh, half of the hypotenuse because that is the distance from the corner to the center. So 70.71 divided by 2 or 1 half of that value is going to be approximately 35.4 feet. Okay, so that is the solution. And if this is the way you did it, that's perfectly fine. But there's actually an easier way to do this if you understand right triangles. And what I'm talking about here is a special right triangle. Now, of course, we use the Pythagorean theorem to get the length of the hypotenuse. And then, of course, we divided that by two to get the uh, distance from the corner to the center. But if you understand something called special right triangles, you can do this uh, math a lot quicker. And I'm going to give you a nice little formula right here. But uh, before I talk about this formula, let's just talk about what a special right triangle is. And there's basically two types of special right triangles. Now, of course, we're talking about a triangle that is right. In other words, we have a 90 degree angle. So the first is a 45 degree, 45 degree a special right triangle. Matter of fact, let me go and write that a little bit better. So if you have a 45, 45, 90, that is a special right triangle. And this is essentially what happens in a square. So if you have a square, and then of course you have the diagonal to that square, what you're forming here is a special right triangle, a 45, 45, 90. Now, of course, you can see I have a formula here. I'll explain that one second, but let me tell you what the other special right triangle is, and that is a 30, 60, 90 degree uh, special right triangle. So when you have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, that is a special right triangle. Now I'm using the word special because you have lovely uh, formulas, kind of like uh, uh, little shortcuts uh, to use um, or to figure out the lengths of the sides and you don't have to go through the entire Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so these are things that you definitely want to remember, but uh, let's take a look at a 45, 45, degree special right triangle. Okay, so when you have a 45, not a 44, 45, 45 special right, 45, 45 special right triangle, excuse me, you can figure out the length of the hypotenuse very quickly, all right? And this is the reason why you want to remember these formulas. So the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse in a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle is simply 
the, uh, the length of the side times the square root of 2. Okay, so of course we know in a square all the sides are equal. So if we want the hypotenuse, all we have to do is take the side and multiply by the square root of 2. And we know the distance of the hypotenuse. Now, of course, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, but that's kind of like the long way to get this answer. Okay, so if you knew this, you could simply just take the side 50, multiply it by the square root of 2, and you have your hypotenuse. And, of course, we can do this number crunching. 50 times the square root of 2 is going to be 50 times approximately 1.41421 in our calculators or in our calculator, and then we uh, find this product and we're gonna get approximately 70.71. Remember, when we take the square root of a number, that's an irrational number, so you're gonna get a decimal, a decimal approximation, so all these values are gonna be uh, approximate values. Okay, so here, again, is our um, hypotenuse C, that's 70.71, but remember, we want the distance from the corner to the center, which will be one half of that. Of course, our final answer, again, is going to be 35, approximately 35.4 feet. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. And if you are preparing for the SAT and want more step-by-step -step practice like this, make sure to check out my full SAT math test prep course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video.